target. And the DCI wants us to put an immediate action plan in place. We've decided it's, uh, it's a mission best suited for DevGro. We've opened the file and started the planning cycle. The HVT is in a walled compound. The main building is surrounded by 12-foot walls. Two gated and guarded entry points. No telephone lines, no internet. Trash is incinerated. Kids are homeschooled. How many kids? 13, maybe 14. That's a goddamn madraza. Oh. There are at least seven armed military-aged males in the compound. This structure here, on top of the main building, looks like it could have been designed as a station for some sort of anti-aircraft equipment. And intelligence indicates that the target has access to Stinger missiles. And there are reports that there are 2,000 pounds of C4 in this main structure rigged to a light switch. So is this Bird or Ernie? NRO has a dedicated satellite watching the compound. Since this began, analysts have, on several occasions, recognized a man who appears taller than the rest. Proportional shadow measurements put his height at six foot five. He doesn't seem to participate in daily chores. He just kind of walks around. We've nicknamed him the Pacer. We've got boots on the ground trying to verify his identity. Is it permissive or non-permissive environment? Non-permissive. And capture or kill. Well, it's a CIA special activities mission. We are comfortable with either outcome. We've narrowed it down to three options. Our job is to present all three to the president so he can make the most informed decision possible. The first option is a joint raid with the host nation. However, there is no way of knowing if the target is in league with the host government, so this option runs the real risk, and in my opinion, uh, the near certainty of his being tipped off. Option two, helicopter assault. That's where we come in. And how are we in, sir? TF-160. Nice stalkers will handle the transport. What about tunneling under? It'd be a lot quieter than bringing in two birds into a rural environment. The compound was built in a flood basin. Water table's too high to tunnel. Third and final option is to simply level the compound with a J-dam. With this option comes the added complication of collateral damage and the inability to verify that he was ever there. But you're still not sure if the target's in there. You're still not 100%. Hundred percent's hard to come by these days. <laughs>